Uh, Mr. Rajiv ji, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. Happy to meet you, sir. Thank you, thank I, you. Thank I wish to meet you, sir, and I express that to the sir who was I was talking with. Yeah. To begin with, congratulations. So, from the team of Ace Engineering Academy, on securing All India first rank in Engineering Service Exam, twenty twenty two. With electronics and telecommunication. Okay, briefly yes. about your thank you, Rajiv ji. Yes, about sir. Briefly. Sir, uh, I uh, was born born and brought up in city named Bendin, which is in MP, sir. And I did my schooling till eighth class in Hindi medium, and uh -huh. after that I switched to English medium. And uh -huh. that one year was the first struggle that I did. Like uh -huh. that was like for each and every line, I used to uh, translate each and every word in a line. and it for one page to read it used to take me one hour initially mm. so i i slogged a lot that year and i was still very young and but that year uh, i could get a rank 3 in the school so that yeah. boosted my confidence and from mm. there this journey started and mm. continuously i got rank 1 in my kv school kendri vidyalaya uh, till 12 and till 12th i was uh, studying in my city bend and after that i got to know like there is some exam like iit je and that time only one attempt used to be there after 12th mm. so i took one year drop mm. and i went to a coaching and in that one year in first and last attempt i was able to clear iit je also sir and after that sir i studied at iit guwahati uh, in 2016 sir i got passed out mm. and got campus placement in a in an mnc which is in bangalore and i worked for 3 years in my first mnc sir mm -hmm. and later after third year i joined another mnc which is also in bangalore so totally i worked for 4 years in a software engineering mm -hmm. and after that uh, for 3 uh, means i resigned in october 2020 from my company mm -hmm. and uh, there were 3 months there for gate so mm -hmm. i prepared for gate in those 3 months because my big brother uh, was like a guidance for me he told mm. me like you need to get a rank under 100 so mm. then only you, you can get some decent uh, psu yes. so that's why sir i prepared 3 months completely for gate and mm. luckily i got a decent rank uh, 77 that year and that boosted my confidence sir before that i used to do the calculation like there are lakhs of students appearing how one can get under 100 or under 200 that calculation used to look very difficult and impossible to me so that psychological barrier was broken by this getting it now i can again focus on my esc journey so in 2021 i wrote the esc prelims which mm. was cleared sir and it was my second attempt in 2020 okay. so 2020 when i gave the first attempt sir i didn't qualify for prelims also mm. and in second year when in 2021 i gave <coughs> i could clear prelim sir and sir when the prelims paper i gave i was not confident that i will clear it so mm -hmm. i i saw result i don't know i saw result in such hopelessness that i couldn't find my roll number and for 10 around 10 days i was just sitting assuming like i didn't qualify prelims on 7th 17th day like result came on 7th and on 17th day somebody messages me like you have qualified prelims and then i just my uh, i my antennas were up and then i just rush rush away to delhi to just prepare completely uh, away from home and three with two and a half months i prepared there for mains and luckily sir that year i qualified for mains also right. and and then sir i appeared for the interview and that year uh, i missed by few numbers in the final list so this year the Uh, this, the study that i did in 2021 the effort that i put in 2021 i think that has paid in this year in 2022 sir okay. so you have a gap of nearly 5 years is it a uh, yes sir. completion of your btech yes sir you worked for mncs yes, you sir. designed for mncs Yes. So definitely, you may be getting some uh, decent uh, package. Okay. Yes, sir. It was a very very good package because from IITs we get in yes. like in lakhs. Yeah. Yes. 
So, what made you to think of engineering service exam? Leaving sir, such a great package, was yes, for nearly four years. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, initially when I joined an MNC, I was liking the environment very much, and everything was good. But after three four years, I was getting a feeling like I need to do something more. But I didn't know what to do. I was happy with my work, sir. I was able to do everything which was given in the company. I was also liking the environment there, the corporate environment. But still, there was something missing. I wanted to do something more. Then, sir, I I joined for three four months. I joined for MBA. Mm -hmm. I prepared three four months for CAT. I gave CAT exam also. I failed there miserably, sir. So I got to understood like I am not trying for CAT. I am actually looking for something else. And then, sir, ESE came in my mind, and from there, my ESE journey started, and I completely lost myself for ESE. Like since then, I was only one thing I was having in my mind, sir. I have to qualify this. I didn't look for any seats. I didn't look for any department like which I will get. I didn't thought about any pucks or anything. Only one thing was in there my mind, like I have to qualify this exam just for the sake of this exam. Okay. So, what was your strategy for prelims exam, sir? Prelims exam, uh, the strategy was like uh, technical. All thirteen, fourteen subjects are there. Mm -hmm. Each and every topic and each and every subject is important and of equal weightage. So, I didn't leave any topic and any subject. Even computer science is also there. That also I prepared, sir, very well. Mm -hmm. So, prelims is like you have to complete each and every topic and all the subjects. Mm -hmm. And then GS also in GS, sir. Since two three years, I am seeing like things are coming from current affairs. So I was focusing on current affairs. That that helped me uh, automatically. My three current affairs subjects got prepared. Like ethic, uh, sorry, ICT, and then environment, sir, and uh, current affair itself. So yes. three to four subjects from current affair itself it got. And then, sir, one more strategy I applied. Like I. Uh, try to excel in uh, that elimination technique, sir. Okay. Even if I was not able to know the answer fully, 50% or 25% knowledge I am having, mm -hmm. sometimes I was able to understand by looking at the options like this will not be a correct option. This Like that, I used to correct many questions in the test space. Mm -hmm. And that, that helped me there also. So I, so I was able to score well, sir, in GS paper also. And in technical, I speed is uh, the most important thing and accuracy sir yes yes sir. see generally you know there were 150 questions in technical is it not yes sir 150 questions the time allocated is 3 hours 3 hours so how do you, how you see for reading the paper itself it may take sometimes more than yes sir. One hour. yes sir so how you could manage the time have you left some of the questions sir my definitely sir my questions were left and my speed was not that much and I knew that I am lacking here in the technical. So what I did was only one option was there. Only one month was there for me because sir, I was working in NTPC at that time. Mm. And training, training was going on. So I had only one month. So I thought I won't uh, revise anything. I will just solve test papers, test papers. And if any topic I am thinking like the, I am lagging in that, only that topic I will revise. Yeah. Otherwise, I was giving tests. Yeah. So I was doing trial and error, sir. How I, I am able to score the complete paper. So I applied one strategy that worked for me, sir. I used to solve question of one full paper. And then I used to mark those answers in the uh, OMR. So that was like continuously I am reading 10 to 20 questions. And then I'm when I'm marking the OMR, sir, that time I'm getting 5 to 10 seconds of refreshment of my mind. So okay. very good. So Very this good. helped me. Yes. So in the mains, na, uh, yes, sir. what was your strategy then? The main in, mains, in mains, the main thing was like choosing the right question to solve. Very good. Hmm. That was the uh, best thing to do in the mains to score high. And second thing was like your speed must be too good in uh, mains. And you need to know like how much to write in a question. Suppose a 10 mark question is there, you, you need to have a limit, like how much you will write in this. So that balance, if you can do like a speed and how much you want to write and the right choice of the questions, that I think will help a lot. In what about this uh, question come answer booklet? 
yes, how sir. you have practiced writing the conventional questions within the space given sir i never found space less for any question wow. never in test series never in the final test uh -huh. because i found always the enough space was there okay. and sir uh, initially i had that fear like i am practicing on blank papers and i am using as many papers i want but when three four tests i went on the center and gave that itself i was able to check myself like i am writing all the answers in given space excellent what yes. about the interview preparation strategy sir interview i never got to prepare more than 10 12 days because wow. the reason was that in 2021 i was undergoing training and then 2021 prelims was also there nearby to the interview yeah like prelims of 2022 was nearby yeah. to the so Correct. i had to manage prelims first because that hmm. paper was first and then interview was there so there was a gap of some 10 to 12 days so i was studying for prelims the 10 to 12 days i got i what i did was four to five core subjects i chose that previous interview questions i wrote, uh, read and rest all i worked on my job profile sir and some of the current affair topics and that itself was if, uh, sufficient for me to like uh, answer almost 80% of the questions in the interview sir and this year also sir, okay Mr. this year also in the this year also you have written this year means 2022 i am telling yeah. this year also 10 to 12 days only i could prepare ah, for it fine. yes sir see how much time they have taken for the interview uh, i think around sir 30 to 35 minutes mm, coffee uh, time with good yes sir 30 to 35 is a considerable time yes sir. whether any question was asked on current affairs sir uh, as such directly no current affair related but since my hobby is poetry writing so oh. this year they the last question that was asked to me was like who got the nobel prize in poetry okay and this huh. was the topic i couldn't touch and i was not able to answer that sir there huh. so huh. on that note the interview finished so huh. i i was little bit nervous about this like how my interview has gone because of this how they might have just this thing but uh, i think like it might have went well because the final result is good right you see you worked for mncs whether yes. they bombarded you on any question why you left mnc why you left mnc any such yes question? sir they they two two to three times they have asked the same question but in a different manner uh -huh. like when they saw my def sir they saw my salary like in first company i was having this first salary second company i was having that yeah. first they were saying like there is a decline in the salary now so this uh, question was asked to me repeatedly first they have said, any other motive like that they yeah. ask why your your salary is declining you are getting so much less pay here in ntpc also yes. and in esc also you you will not get anything compared to what you are getting in mnc then why you want to come here mm -hmm. then my answer to them was like uh, esc is offering me diverse field sir it is a techno managerial job and apart from that sir government of india gives enough money to a, a public servant that he can have a healthy life Very so good. the money is not that much of a concern for a public servant sir very good so yes. any questions on general studies means you said the only except hobbies nothing they asked uh general like studies political system mm, nothing asked no sir, no, sir. no sir okay anything asked about your home state madhya pradesh uh Questions related to Madhya Pradesh, places of study like I T G O T. No sir. Studied in Hindi medium. Nothing they ask. Nothing. They didn't ask any. Nothing. Just in bio data they ask like you from where you have studied, where you have worked, where are you working now? Like just uh, to get to know about myself. Very good, Rajiv. Uh, yes. Sir. What is your suggestion to juniors who want to crack this engineering service exam in the very first attempt? sir the the first suggestion i would give is like always have a positive thinking and second thing never think like you won't make it if you have that in your mind like you can't make this year then you will definitely won't make this year and if you have that thing in your mind like you will be able to make it if by if you are unlucky you are not able to make it at least you would have been put so much effort that an average student would not be putting so first thing is that and second thing is this sir i applied a formula uh, in my uh, preparation like i didn't uh, i didn't load my mind like i need to get this much rank or that service i need to get 
आई हैड ओनली वन फॉर्मूला सर कि वॉट आई एवरेज स्टूडेंट इज डूइंग और वॉट एवर इज माई कैपेसिटी आई एम डूइंग विद I need to just do ten to fifteen percent more than that in each and every stage. So that was working for me, sir. This year, so this I applied. And sir, oh, you, sec- you yes. what do you want to say that never lose hope? Yes, sir. Focus on the subject process, yes, not on the end result. Yes, sir. Result will automatically follows. I think result will good. automatically follow. follow. If you worry, if you worry about result a lot, uh-huh. it will affect your preparation, sir. And uh, what you said, think like an average student and work. Think like an average student and think like you just need to do ten to fifteen percent more effort than an average student. Wow, great. Yes, sir. Very good, uh, Rajiv ji. So yes, sir. I learned some of the points from you. Uh, yes. Sir. Congratulations once again. Anyway, yes. I forgot. Oh, how AS Engineering Academy could help you? I think uh, you have taken yes. online test series, so yes. mains, remote exams, internal yes. guidance program, everything. Just uh, briefly, how AS Engineering Academy could help you in your journey, sir? AS Academy uh, and to you, sir. Mm-hmm. I have lot of respect. The reason is that. And the AS Academy cares a lot about students, and student community also accept this thing. The my friend circle and everybody I meet who has qualified this exam, everybody had have this perception like AS Academy thinks a lot about students. So like AS Academy, when a, a person is qualifying for prelims and appearing for mains, AS Academy is providing the whole module like booklets for free. That was like I prepared with the previous year questions of AS Academy only, sir. This year, Great. so Great. that helped me a lot, sir. And then AS Academy gives test series also. That is also very good, sir. So that practice also helps you a lot. And theory questions of AS Academy that are asked are very well, uh, very well questions, sir. And uh, apart from that, lectures I didn't get chance to attend on AS Academy, sir. But overall, sir, everything is about AS Academy. Excellent, Rajiv ji. Yes, so sir. you studied uh, your primary education in Hindi medium. Yes, sir. In spite of that, you could prove yourself. You could improve yes. your English language. See the way in which you are now uh, explaining your experiences. That itself shows how yes, much uh, struggle or how much uh, hard work you have done to come to this stage. And yes. Second sir. point is think like an average student. Yes. Put up some fifteen percent. Uh, extra effort to win the race okay yes yes thank you all the best rajiv ji sir and if you god bless you pranam yes. to your parents yes sir thank you sir thank sir you. if you allow me if you allow me i would want to say two lines which Please. motivated me uh, yes. i think that those will help students uh, like i wrote jo chaho wo pa sakte ho duniya ko hila sakte ho bulandiyon ko dur se dekh sakte ho बुलंदियों को दूर से देख सकते हो या बुलंदियों पर जाकर दिखा सकते हो डिफिकल्टीज सेम काइंड ऑफ बैरियर आई ऑल्सो हैव गोन थ्रू so definitely any average student is there he can definitely crack this exams true see after working for 4 years in an mnc naturally yes, i think you will become zero you started from scratch yes sir the four yes, years sir. you lost yes so sir you have started from scratch you yes, are sir. as good as a fresher or an average student yes, thank sir. you once again thank you sir thank you thanks a lot sir thanks a lot